I just clean the screen. Now we discussing very important symmetric for the curve. Let's look at our mean right here. So our mean is this score zero. Mean plus one standard deviation, which our z score is one. This is two. Last one is a three. And we can do the same way to the left side, negative one, negative two for the z score, negative three. Right, so now I'm gonna graph on the right side on the top curve. This is a symmetry, that means I'm gonna start from the middle, zero. That's for my z score zero right here, the mean. Because of a symmetry, so that means on my right side covers 50% of the total error. On the left side, the error will be also 50%. So 50% plus 50%, that's 100% of the whole graph. Now I'm going to graph a new one. Let's look for P Z score is bigger than 1.25. It's very clear 1.25. It's not a given from our left side because our left side can only give us a 3, 1, 2, 3, or 81, 82, 83. Right? So first let's locate 1.25. I first have a zero, then I get a one right here, 1.5. Well, I'll be right here, 1.25. I'm gonna have a straight line, vertical line right here. Help me to show the error. Right, this is my middle. This is my 1.25. I'm looking for bigger than that. So that's nothing to do to the left side is about the right side of 1.25. This is going to be the error right here I'm looking for. Okay. Now I'm going to do one more. P, if the z-score is less than negative 1.25. So I'm going to locate negative 1.25 first. I'm just going to say somewhere right here, 1.25 negative give us vertical line right here and is less than that it's gonna be less so when it's more think about that it's gonna be go this side if it's less that's gonna be go to the left right that means the area I'm looking for will be to the left right here by symmetric that tells me since the number right here 1.25, this is also 1.25, even we have a negative by symmetric. This error right here is supposed to be equals to this one right here. They are the same. Before we finish the topic, I want you to think about more. If we look at the graph on the left side, Right here we have a mean plus three standard deviation. Here we have a mean subtract three standard deviation. The total error here is about 99.7%. It almost covers the whole curve. So that means if I have somebody on the left or goes to the right, which is above mean plus three standard deviation, or below mean subtract three standard deviation. What's the score gonna be? Think about that. And how big? What's the percentage? What's the error gonna be? All right. So basically, what I'm looking for right here is. You know it's going to be very small. It's 83 and a 3. And what I'm looking for is right here. The 
total we know follow the rule that it's going to be 99.7 percent inside right here I'm looking for this very small number but is that number will be 100 percent subtract this or something else that's what you have to think about the symmetric we just discussed